In this video, we'll be extensively going over the murder of Carlton Weekly, aka FBG Duck. FBG Duck was born on December 6, 1993. He had several siblings, but his brother Brick was killed on July 17, 2017. This all would start on July 10, 2020, when FBG Duck would drop a song named Dead Bees. Said I won't go this to dead, and okay, I did, I did. But Nick T. Roy and OD them dead. A little less than a month later, six old block members would get the drop on his location. August 4th, 2020, at around 3.59 p.m., Carlton Weekly, aka FPG Duck, was shopping for clothes for his son's birthday in Milani's boutique on East Oak Street in the Gold Coast. Ralph Turpin, aka TZ from THF46, would walk into Milani's store. As TZ walked into Milani's store with his friend, he spotted FBG Duck. This is when Old Block members would get a call from him, notifying him about FBG Duck. And as you can see in this footage right here, at around 404, Old Block members would be seen rushing up the steps of an Old Block apartment. This is right after they would get a call from THF TZ. And as you can see as they running down the steps, it looks like they're holding something in that dip. Four old block members will come back down the steps. At this point, two old block members will hop in the back of the all black Ford Fusion. Plus, two more old block members will hop in the back of the gray Chrysler 300. They would all pull off at about 4 or 5 p.m. Both would turn on 6231 South Wentworth Avenue, entering I-94 towards Oak Street. But before they got on the interstate, they would get their tags read by a tag reader. This was a big part in the case, as Robertson, Liggins, and Thomas had just purchased that Ford Fusion on July 28, 2020, and they would do something crazy right after the murder happened, which was another key part of the case, but we'll get to that in a little bit. At this point, they would be on 396 East Bardo Avenue, traveling northbound on LSD, and they would already be close to the downtown area in just 10 minutes. Then they would turn westbound on Chicago Ave from LSD. At this point, they would kind of get stuck in traffic at around 4.14 p.m. traveling westbound on Chicago Ave.
At this point, they would be on 984 North Michigan Avenue, traveling westbound on East LSD. And this would only be about two minutes from where FBG Duck was standing at. FBG Duck was standing outside in front of a different store, which was the Doshe and Cabana store waiting to go inside. This was unfortunate for FBG Duck because if he was inside the store, he might have had a chance. They would get on 103rd East Oak Street and spot FBG Duck. As you can see right here, FBG Duck is standing outside, unaware about what's about to happen. Some people say he had a feeling about what was going on and he wanted to get inside the store quick, but he had to wait outside. Suddenly, two shooters from each car would hop out shooting multiple shots at FBG Duck. He would try to run, but fell behind a car as they would fire more shots at him, hitting FBG Duck a total of 16 times. Plus they shot a person behind FBG Duck in line three times, and FBG Duck's friend who was in her car two times. And this is the crazy part, Ralph Turpin, aka THFTZ, who made the call telling O'Block where FBG Duck was. He was right across the street on the phone watching the whole shooting unfold. This would all unfold at around 4.26 p.m. and after they would hop back in both cars traveling westbound on Oak Street. At around 25 minutes later, at 4.56 p.m., they would arrive back at Oak Block, and ironically, the police would be behind them. Weirdly, the police would hop out his car, look around, hop back in, and pull off like nothing happened. The police was most likely worried about the group outside of the Parkway Gardens apartments. They would be caught walking in front of 6422. Two of them would go inside of 6358 and come back out. The crazy thing about this is, is right after the murder, they would return to Ford Fusion to the dealership. Months after the murder, they would all be arrested for the murder of FBG Duck, which was Charles Liggins, Kenneth Robinson, to Carlos Alford, Christopher Thomas, Marcus Smart, and Ralph Turpin. But that'd be about it for this video. Make sure you like, or dislike, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.